Hi guys, today I have a DIY for you and it's how to make your own flower halos. These are perfect for spring and summer or if you're going to musical festivals. I have also used the same technique when I was being a mermaid for Halloween and I will show you in just a moment. I used starfish instead so it doesn't just have to be flowers. For this DIY you will need flowers, of course, a hot glue gun, scissors, some string, which I use suede, and some extra fabric laying around the house. This will take you about 30 minutes to an hour to complete. Oh yeah, and you need a flattening iron. First things first, grab that flattening iron. As you can see, the petals on the flowers are not perfectly straight and beautiful, unfortunately. So to fix that, you're going to take your flattening iron and just smooth out the edges. You don't want to press too hard and you don't want to hold it on there too, too long. But it's pretty simple. And you're just going to do that to all the flowers that you are going to be using for your flower halo. Now I've seen flower halos with five, six, three flowers. It just depends on how many you would like to use. Next, I have just made sure to pop the flowers off of them stems. You can either throw them away or if you want to save them for some odd reason, you can go ahead and do that. As you can see, I just took my scissors and I'm just snipping off the extra stem attached to the flower. You want it to be as flat as possible and as close to the base as possible. Now, time for my least favorite part. Grab some fabric, some extra fabric you have lying around at home. It can be scraps because you really don't need that much. Now you're just going to create tiny circles that are big enough to cover that green area on a flower. So if the flower is bigger, you're gonna need a bigger circle. If it's smaller like the one that I have, you're going to create a smaller circle. Now, I don't measure these exact. I really don't care how perfect they are. If you are a perfectionist, go ahead and create some sort of stencil. I like to make wannabe little circles. I feel like they attach um, the best to the back of the flower, as you can see. So make it the same size as that green part, just to cover it up. I like to use funky fabric on the back. I think it adds a touch of uniqueness. Of course, you can do whatever you please. I've even tried using the leftover leaves before. You can use flower petals to cover up the back. It's completely your choice. Just make sure that you cut enough for each flower that is going to be on your flower halo. And now make sure you bust out your suede string. It's what I like to use. I love the look of it. And I just wrap it around my head to make sure it fits. That's how I measure it. And I like to leave enough space at the end to be able to tie a bow. And now here comes the fun part. So now would be a good time to get out your hot glue gun. Well, it should have been warming up before. But before you do this, I would highly suggest you kind of place out the flowers where you want. Make sure you see if you want to switch up the patterns, alternate colors, whatever. I'm just making a yellow little sunflower one. So I take the fabric and I draw a strip or not draw, well kind of, I put a strip of glue just straight in the center and then I place the string on top of that strip. I then will take the flower and I'm getting stuck to glue there. And then I'll take the flower and I will apply a glob of glue in that area and I don't, the glue gun was really far away and I couldn't bring it any closer so sorry, this is kind of hard to see but you're just putting it right on the green center and that's what it should look like. And you're going to continue to do this with all of the flowers. Thank you. 
haha, uh -huh. I disappeared for a little bit because I burned myself. It wouldn't be a DIY without some battle wounds, right? So this last step is completely optional. You can say I'm done and I'm ready to wear my halo or you can add beads to the end. So I chose to add two beads to each side. Now I'm just gonna scooch up the bead so I have enough room to tie a knot at the end to make sure that they are secured. You can add whatever beads you like. I like using the dainty beads and doing a different color than the flower halo just to add a little bit more something different. As you can see there's a little extra space at the end where the beads are. If you want to cut those off feel free to do so. And ta-da! You have made your very own flower halo.